Oh my god, guys. I am super T Martin excited to bring you the biggest glitch I have ever seen. Actually, it's not really a glitch, it's more of a mini game slash Easter egg. It's uh, from the map Prison Break, and uh, it lets you play Unreal Tournament 3. I know you're like, what the hell? This has got to be a total troll. But you know what? It's not. There's actually just a couple little things that I've heard from a couple inside sources. Um, I'm sure you're going to see this on Kotaku sometime very soon. But I have the proof that my character from my multiplayer match is in this game. And I have some extra proof towards the end. As you can see there with the big head, you can see that this is the chick from Call of Duty Ghost. So if you want to know how to play Unreal Tournament, stick around here on Descent and X. I'm going to show you exactly what you guys got to do. And no download required. So here we go. What's going on all you sexy YouTubers out there? Oh man, am I super pumped to bring you this information and that is exactly how to play Unreal Tournament while you're playing Call of Duty Ghosts. Sure it does back you out of the game and to get out of Unreal Tournament you're going to have to actually close down the game because it gets you stuck in there. But the cool thing is it's a real simple, simple, it's basically like a parkour trick. You basically have to climb up here. No big deal. You have to be playing Blitz. You have to be playing Blitz. I brought my buddy along because he didn't believe me. He really didn't believe me. But the funny thing is, all you have to do is just do these little bit of jumps. You got to make sure you jump from there to there. Onto that truck. It's really hard to get on that without a knife. Uh, see, even he has problems getting on there. You have to jump onto the tire. No big deal. See, right there on the tire. You got to jump on there. You have to get on top of this trailer. See, <laughs> you just can't do it. You just can't do it. It's so funny. <laughs> But then you got you gotta have a throwing knife, and you gotta throw it through the loop. No big deal, real simple. And you gotta jump on the rock here. You gotta walk up a little bit. Now you don't necessarily have to crawl through the water. I thought it'd be kind of fun just to crawl through it. Um, but you have to get all the way to the end. Oh look, you made it. All right, finally. So I was basically doing it to wait up for him. But uh, then you have to have I can't remember what it's called. It's like an incendiary grenade. It's the secondary one. And uh, it's the only way because if you have the throwing knife to throw it through the loop, you won't be able to break down these logs to continue this whole parkour thing. So as you'll see right here, I load it up and the logs will make it so that I can access the area without touching the ground. Because you're supposed to go from one point to another without touching the ground. See right there, I got grabbed onto the, the, the uh, rock just in time. Jump on those logs. And then all you have to do is jump on the chainsaw and boom. Oh, oh yeah. I <laughs> do that for the hell of it. You jump on the chainsaw, and then you have to jump into it. Bam! Inside of Unreal Tournament 3. As simple as that, as seamless as it is, it's amazing. It is simply amazing. I was completely blown away, because I remember playing this game way back in the day, when PlayStation 3 was coming out. And, uh, it's really cool to be able to go back and just enjoy a nice arena fighting game. And you know, the funny thing is, a lot of the, the old killing sprees and double kill. And all that came from Unreal Tournament. So if you've never actually played the game, well, now you have a chance. You don't have to actually go out and buy the game or download it. Or, you know, those people that like to mod and hack like they do in Call of Duty Ghosts, they'll probably find a way to get the game for free anyways. But hey, you don't have to do any of that bullshit. No hacking required. No downloads. No money from your pocket. All you gotta do is just do that stupid little parkour run. It's easier to do it in a private lobby. So you don't actually have to go into a, a regular lobby and hope that you can run that whole that whole ordeal without dying because oh look at that mega kill <laughs> ultra kill <laughs> dominate <laughs> oh I love this game man it just brings back so many fond memories of a, a good game hit detection was right on I mean look at it boom insta kill with these shotguns or flat cannons whatever you want to call it. I think I get like the flak master thing here in a minute. It's pretty cool because all the guns have like a secondary attach or a secondary fire to them. Like for pistols if you push a, I think it's L1. It shoots to the side and it also shoots like a three round burst. But uh, 
Guys, please, if you could leave a like, subscribe if you're new, because I'm going to try to find as many hidden things as about Call of Duty Ghosts I can. I know my channel's not primarily about it. This is probably going to be the single-handedly the biggest find in Call of Duty Ghosts that I'm ever going to see. And I don't know why I didn't pick up all that stuff on the ground. But, uh... Oh, right here. Right here. Flak Master. <laughs> it was a pretty good game. I think I go 25-1. and one. Um... And, I mean, unfortunately, it's it's not online. So you're only able to play against the bots when you jump in. So that is a downside. But, hey, you're still able to play. Again, look at my character from Call of Duty Ghosts in here. So I had those two clips because I ran into this world twice. Guys, hopefully you leave a like. Share it with your buddies. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And peace out. Hello everybody, this is FPS Russia. I'd like to thank you for watching the same the next video. If you want to check out previous one on the left hand side, or maybe even mystery video on the right hand side, maybe me shooting shotgun, blowing off zombies' heads, either way, it X marks the stuff for entertainment you at the center next. Have a nice day.